France's army is only 28,000 men. What? They have potential. Maybe it's the economy. It has to be the economy. There's no way they they don't have more troops. They must not be too well doing too well financially. Well, yeah, that is true. They probably won't. They only have one colony, which is uh, Colombia. And let's see. It would give them trade, but what's the trade value? Uh, cocoa is good. Coffee, tropical wood, but not nearly enough of what they would need. I mean, it's not like my trade value is much higher, but with Canada, the eastern, co the east coast of the North America, I got trade coming in from the Ivory Coast, and then we're gonna have some coming in from Australia. We're gonna have a bigger advantage over them. So. Okay, so what I have a plan for is once the East Coast is done, we're going to go ahead and get another one here. We'll get another one up here, this one here, and then we'll do one in New Zealand. That way that this colony can pretty much do stuff on its own. Then we're going to go back to Africa and continue what we were doing. Let's see. Missionary strength. Again, that's, that's the thing we're going to want. Uh, promote silver services. We lose church power. Minus five. But does that really matter? Not really. No, because I already gained it back. <laughs> uh, where's that at? Uh, do that. I can do the bribe. I don't want to do that if I don't have to. Ignore corruption. Take leave to legitimacy. And that's good for us. That's just more to put towards this. Alright. Well... You know, we actually... No, nah, we're not nearly making enough. Colonial maintenance is, I think, what's getting us at the moment. I think I might have, like... Th how many colonies do I have going? Four. And we're only able to do two, so costs are going to be up really high. Um... I don't want to lose the innovativeness. Because, you know, the army tradition decay, or power costs. <coughs> Question is, do I want the local unrest in London? Actually, do I care about local unrest in London? Not really, so I'd rather have that. <laughs> it's not like it's the entire country, it's just going to be London. Yeah, didn't even affect it. Alright, so the fleet's doing well. Once these colonies start getting done, we should see our economy do a massive 180. Let's see Charleston area still going. Long Bay. I like I do I do like the fact that they switch all these names. Like that was Manhattan, now it's New York. Massachusetts stayed the same. Chesapeake stayed the same. Then you got Long Bay stayed the same, but uh, this turned to Charleston. It's neat. Although, I think I built that one on there. So, I might still have that colony. I might get that colonist back. Yes, okay. So, I vote... Putting you out here. So, one, two, three, four, five, and that'll be it. That's good. Alright. Did lose a military leader. Doing good. Go ahead and... Wow, he's crappy. Yeah, I really do need quality ideas. Quality and offensive. Good, you guys are done. Go ahead and go here. We need an explorer. Explore north... Actually, wait. I don't think we explored. Yeah, do the whole northwest Pacific. Yeah, I guess we're going to be waiting for those other colonies to get done, actually. Yeah, because we jumped up back to 14.86, so yeah. Colonies are where all our money's getting tied down at. Let's see, we can go ahead and get a new tech. But I have no reasons to do it. So, I say, let's invest in Calais. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll do that, because i got to get rid of those points anyway. I don't want to... Might as well dev some of my provinces up while I have the points. Uh, Cologne. Ooh. So you're protecting that. What are you guys doing? You guys aren't doing anything. No, that's not what I wanted. Protect trade. To the North Sea. Do you have two free diplos? So, do we have any claims on this? No. So, let's do exactly that. We'll see if we can actually get a war going with any of these allies of theirs, so I can, uh... Ooh. Um... I think we can do it. It's only a bad thing. We don't really have a good professional army yet, so we'll just have to live with what we got. If it wasn't for Portugal, I could kill Granada. I don't know why they allied with them. And they're a single province minor. There's no, they have more reasons to be allied with Castile or Aragon than they do Granada. Good. Wait a minute. Luca. Huh. Is Aragon? Yes, they do. Hmm. Probably see the gears going through my head at the moment as I contemplate if war would be advantageous. Because if I went to war with Aragon, I could get Malta. I wouldn't worry about this too much. I would only want the islands. If I get Malta and Crete, that'd be advantageous. Then I'm pretty much turning into basically Britain. <laughs> Control the islands through there, that's naval bases. We can sit there and throw, and it would be a welcome distraction against the French. Because if we would go to war with that for that, they would have nothing to gain. Hmm. Actually, wait a minute. If we went to war with France right now... So, wait, I have conquest goals on all that? That's just really weird. I'd rather control this. If I went to war with France, this is what I would want. I would just want Normandy. Um, actually, going to war with France right now would actually make sense. The only people we would have to worry about are the Danes, which, if I block this off right here, they wouldn't be able to send their... How large is their fleet? Navies, Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. Where the hell are they? Fleet must not be that powerful if I don't even see their name on here. No, huh, it must not be. Well, let's go by country. Denmark. They have 70 ships. Total. Okay, I just didn't have it high enough. So they do have 70 ships, 35 galleys, which if they attack us out at sea, those ships actually aren't that valuable. However, they do have 7 heavies. 7 light. Now they wouldn't be able to fight us if we went to war with them, because I don't think those galleys would prove too advantageous. Do they have naval ideas? No, they do not. Okay. Without naval ideas, they don't really have much to work with. I would say, let's go ahead and get another manufactory done in Kent. Um, yeah, that's actually really good. 
They don't have heavy ships like I do, so they wouldn't have a ground war game going. And again, with France only having... Having a smaller army than even I do. Actually, where'd that army go? France, France, France. Oh, wherever it went. They were with somebody? Oh, they are. I wonder I don't see their army anymore. I'll take the prestige hit. Who are they at war with? Wait, other armies might be out in the colonies. Hmm. <laughs> That's a tough call. That's a real tough call. Okay. And that. And that. Light ships, you and you. You're not going to be guarding those coasts anymore. I want you guys back home. They won't be that great in a battle. But I think if I add them to this level 3 um, admiral, add them with the other ships, I think we'll have enough to beat the galleys. Because I think if we hold right here up near the Norwegian Sea, we can basically take the uh, cogs, remove them from the fleet, and then utilize them going to be my goal. If we take out the Danes, I can let whatever happened on the mainland happen. Ships do need upgraded, so let's go ahead and do that. So let them prepare and then we're going to war. Although I am going to try to get these claims. How much do I need? I'm probably going to need a lot since I got this. Oh yeah, I'm not doing that. Screw that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the admin points. How far away are we? Not far off. Uh, let's do Kent. I think if I can wipe out all of France's allies, then we pretty much have won this battle. It'll be an easy war. Um, I think a large sum of their armies are going to be out in the... Um, in South America, so again, that's advantageous to us to use it to our advantage now. Good, that's done, and we're at 73% unity. We ain't got much more to go. The only bad thing is I gotta give these light ships time to repair some more. Alright, I'm just going to save those admin points. Which are almost to this point. I'll take that. It's good for me. And this will be the last month. The ships are fully repaired. Go ahead, put you guys in that army. You guys are going to go up here. We're going to call Portugal into this and we're declaring war. Good. Cock block them up here. You guys attack. Go back home. Go to Lincolnshire and then we'll get these reinforcements and send them in with you.
did damage your damage we'll get rid of you too give the fleet a little bit of time to repair because it didn't take too much damage again most of the french army's gone it's actually really funny Oh yeah, that's just gonna keep hurting them. I think they're actually sending their galleys out here too, so it's it's just hurting them more. All right, how are you guys doing up here? Go ahead, since we already got the infantry thing done, let's do that. And it's gonna be a little ballsy. Do it. I don't think they'll attack you in time. I'll let them attack our forge just because I have no real care for what happens to them. Right. We actually got one more ship than we should. My main goal is, if even if we lose that mainland bit, I think most of the French army is going to be out at sea still. So most of them aren't even here yet. Gentlemen, head up here. Nope, they're retreating. Go ahead and go down there. We'll leave the three-star general there. These guys are just going to keep heading further and further south. Siege more land up. We're going to try to white piece. Uh, the Danes, so they no longer get involved in this war. As I'd rather white piece them than have them consistently fight us. Actually, since they're fully. Yeah, those forts are holding out long enough. They're causing a lot of good damage. Good, that's done. Go ahead and head to Verden. We gotta end them next. Without them, I think I think without their allies, I think France will collapse within a short amount of time. Yeah, Granada wants out. Um, Portugal doesn't want the territory. So we'll do that, we'll do that. Um, we will force our religion on them. We'll make them break their um, alliance with France. Aha! Now you're Anglican like us. Screw you. We'll destroy the Verdun territory. Go ahead and destroy that wall. Still got Calais, so as long as we have that fort, we should be fine. Ten's gonna want out of the war now. Go ahead and head up here. We're gonna go ahead and get our next battle going. Give us all your money. Give me your war reps. We'll force our religion on. Eh, you don't want to force religion. How about we just make you break your alliance with France? That works for me. That seems reasonable. Leaving us with whom left? Denmark and Livonian Order. Livonian Order can't get to us. They'd have to do a bunch of military accesses, which I doubt anybody's going to give to them. Um, my fleet's in here. Danish fleet has... still has 35 galleys. That's no good. Hmm. As much as I want to try it, I don't think we should. Gonna give me trade efficiency. Go ahead 
Go there for like a split second. I don't know where their fleet. No, they're not. Wait, their fleet went home. That means they know they can't beat me. Yes. Go in, boys. Oh yeah, Danes are done. Okay, wait. You're gonna get canceled. Hold here. You're just gonna siege down all the land. Go here next. And what's gonna happen is because I don't want to risk losing naval vessels, is we're gonna finish that. You guys are gonna head over here. And get out of there. So that is what we're gonna do. Ah, oh, that fort is still holding. Really? They must have broke that siege at one point, because there's no way that fort should still be holding. Um, oh wait, I know what to do. Uh, let's see, where's that army? Go ahead, head down to, not this bill, uh, go here. You are going to go down here and support our Portuguese brothers, because I can't let that fort fall. Cannot let that fort fall. Go ahead, everybody unite. Up oh, the running light, get them. Get them. Oh god, that that's sad when you get to... Oh my god. It's so funny you think back that the French were actually pretty formidable, and yet my 25k stack killed that like it was nothing. A, I can't be more proud of my guys than that. Why can't we do those yet? Ah, okay, so that's because... Yeah, that makes sense. More mercantilism. Go out that. I think Danes are done. Oh yeah, I can't move across there yet because I don't have control of that. So we'll have to wait for the fleet to come down. Which Denmark is going to remove their ships. So you guys go ahead and head across. Yep, Denmark wants out. So let's go ahead and get all their money. Force war reps on them. Is there any land that they have that I would want? Hmm. They don't have any colonies anywhere that I care about. Um, I mean, to be honest, I don't care. I mean, I have no reasons to... I don't want to take any of this land. I have no reasons to. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really care. We'll just do what we usually do. We'll go ahead and make them end their alliance with France, because I don't want them to have to deal with that. We can make them return cores. That cost me Diplo? Yeah, it would. Um... I don't really care. Yeah, um, so yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, actually, before you guys go there, we're gonna make you go back. Go across. And I'll just make you guys go... Just go... Just go back here. And I'll take the piece. Yeah, my fleet's not moving, that's weird. Okay. I'll get you guys out of there, and then that's when we'll do it. Alright, accepted. Yeah, because I don't really have any reasons to keep going to war to the Danes. I mean, that's really all I wanted was uh, to wipe them out so that uh, France couldn't use them anymore. So, other things. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Do you have light ships? Where's that light ship at? It has to be a damaged one. Who no, cares? No, we'll get rid of those three. Then, top it all off, let's go ahead and go here. Those guys still gotta recover, so go ahead and send them across. Go ahead and send them across. Then, you guys are gonna go here, kill that 6k stack, and then reinforce it they're gonna send everything. Oh wow, that army held. Oh dear god, that was a massacre. I thought the French could kill me. 
Portugal still dealing with them down there? No, nope. France left. Good. Okay, so. Um, territory, territory. What all can I take from them? Pretty much all the way up to Paris, right? Yep. I don't have too many alliances left. Livonian order is pretty much it, and I'm not too concerned about them. I could take their capital and just play with them. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, but I already see them as kind of weak, so I would say... Probably should just take where I got claims so I can lower that amount. Got you. Got you. You. Don't want you too far inland. That would be useful. Not bad. That's one of them. What's the point? Is that. Too far inland, though. I just kind of want to see where most of my claims are at at the moment. That one, that one. So, we do have a cosine, so I would say, at the very least, let's get rid of that. At the very least, we're going to see if we can get those three. Because that's more, that's three more provinces France lose. That gives us control of the western coastline of France. And that'll link everything together. Other thing is, is Kapuya Kapuya. And that will probably just piss the French off, yep. Which, if I do that, then they lose everything up here, and I actually get what I originally wanted. It is going to cost us Diplo points. Question is how many? Only 56. I already got the idea, so that works for me. We'll get that from them. we get that from them. Alright, so that's what we're aiming for. We're going to go for a big war goal against these guys. Ooh. Uh, I mean, i got to kind of take that. Alright, so things really are going our way. It's going really well. We can't fight the Bohemians, but we can kill the French. And kill Britain. I'm surprised at how weak their army actually is. I figured they'd be more formidable. And that's probably because of the difficulty I have it on. they probably destroy me without that. <laughs> but that's why I don't really want to play the game on any harder difficulty. I know I can't win. Although, what's their military tech? 14's all across the board. I do have a tech on them, so... Oh yeah, my colonies. How are they doing? Okay, New York's done. Alright. So that leaves New York. Then there's Tiwi down here. Alright, that's good. Then that means the uh, eastern coast is nearly finished. It doesn't look like anybody else is trying to do that. The only people that I see colonizing... Oh wow. Oh wow, you Native Americans. Wow. Wow. They did that to them. That's hilarious. So even though the Norwegians can uh, keep adding more territory through here, they <laughs> wow! I did not think the I didn't think a Native American tribe could be that much of asses. Um, press the minority grant. Eh, I'll give them. Man, I don't care. We could we could take a little bit of autonomy. Uh, other things, other things. So how are we doing economically? Not doing bad since the colony, so I say, so we got the money, let's go ahead and upgrade all our forts on the British Isles so that they can better sustain themselves. Ooh, no, 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 that's my land. That's mine too. Yeah, I'm not letting them have that. Those are my colonies. I claim Southwest Africa as mine, I want that whole coastline. Yeah, the French couldn't beat me up, so they want to go beat up the, um, Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I probably should send my army down there to help them. Where, when did the Portuguese... Wow, they actually have their entire force down there. What the hell? I don't know. I could just let the Portuguese get the crap beat out of them and just beat up France up here. I mean, if they lose Paris, it's pretty much over. Which, you guys can't even go there yet because of that fort. So go ahead and just, he just head here. Yeah, Portugal surrendered. That's over for them. Let's go ahead and destroy this uh, wall. You guys can't push there or there, so just stay where you're at. Actually, no, because I can't risk losing uh, points towards that. Okay, so Tiwi is now done. That gives us our colonists back. 
go ahead and get this. And then we'll put that other guy on... Once New York's done, we'll put him on that. Unless that's the, um... No, because that might be the other, uh... Guy I got from Parliament. Yes, the siege is now over. We got it. Now to go for Paris. Oop, French army's back. They're not happy with me. Go ahead and do that. Although I don't see Paris holding out very long. At least at this stage. The French are just kind of trying to avoid us, so they may not think they have the fighting power to beat us. So if they lose Paris, it's... I, I pretty much can say this is an over-war. Yep, Paris is done. Alright, we got it. Even though their generals are theoretically stronger than mine, mine... My guys are just storming right through them. Alright, that's good. Go ahead and head back here. We're gonna go reclaim the land we lost. Uh, they'll come back up here to get these things done, but we'll do two sieges and end it, and then go back. Uh, you guys are going to head here. You guys can head here, and then you guys will attack them at that fort. Okay, you head in. Actually, wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nope, nope. I thought that army was going to leave. Go ahead and head in. Go ahead and head in. We'll see how much damage we cause. And they surrendered, that's nice. Although that 10k stack's running away, so go after him. Oh good, he has no general. And that army's really weak, so it should... Nope, didn't get stack wiped, but it is running in this direction. Let's see where he goes. That's really weird positioning, but we're good. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna keep claiming our old lands back. I need to de-siege all this, otherwise we're going to suffer for a bit. Oh, we get a new idea already? That's good. Alright. And a new free policy. Is that the military policy? National manpower modifier. Oh, yeah. And production efficiency plus 20%. I'll take that. That's a nice policy for a little bit. Uh, that siege is not gonna... Hmm. You know what, let's go ahead, let's cancel the siege, you guys head back to here. You'll, de you'll siege down that land, take it back for us, and then you guys head here, and get ready for round two, because we, we gotta keep a hold of Paris. Go in, boys. They're not gonna have it once that other army, yep. Yeah, their army won it. Good. Okay, so you're actually going to siege down that, and you're going to keep going for this stuff. Alright, so that's good. We can keep exploring. Uh, go ahead and do the Southeast Pacific uh, Sea. 